Hey y'all! I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am here today to do my first ever planner flip through. So this is my trusty happy planner from 2016 to 2017, which was a very interesting year, unfortunately. Um, I've kept a planner for a very long time, but up until last year, I've always had just like a file of facts where I just wrote in different colored pens. So this was really my first year where I had a happy planner or something that I decorated. Um, and up front, I just have my little TV tracker that I made and my first page here. I did do a little bit of monthly planning from time to time, but I really haven't figured out how best to utilize that. I, I don't think I even have the last couple months filled out at all. Uh, so this is my first week. And as you can see, the only thing I had this week when I started filling out everything were these sticky notes that I bought from Hobby Lobby. And then I think at the beginning of the next week, I bought one Bambi sticker pack. So this is an interesting week. You can kind of see I was on my vacay from the blog um, for Christmas and New Year's and so I don't know it was fun but we did a lot of interesting things this week and and I was still oh my little dog wants to come say hi you can guys see her over here kind of still figuring out exactly how to plan and um, and just using my scrapbook supplies because that's all I really had at that time and then we moved to this week where I really had my first week of Mammy stickers and I went a little crazy but I think we figure out as time keeps going that I really like stickers and I definitely use them like a lot I really liked this where I had my work and his work all set out I don't know why I stopped doing that but it's okay and then this week I went a little more pink instead of rose gold. I actually used regular gold this week, which I don't do very often. But I was trying to use more stickers. Okay. Betty, honey, can I have that lamb? Can I? No? We're going to play keep away? I think she's going to keep doing that, y'all. I'm sorry. Maybe she can come close enough and I can get it from her. Oh, this was super cute. I liked this. This was like an actual scrapbook sticker that I used and uh, I went a little off the beaten track this week with different I don't know different things that I used and like this is washi and like little tiny stickers definitely more creative than I've been being lately using kits but oh, this is one of my favorite weeks from back then I'm gonna say that like every week just so that you guys know because that's my problem is I like like, if I put it in here, I like it. I don't put things in here that I don't like. Um, <laughs> and I finally reached my goal this week of over 100,000 views on the blog. I was so happy. I found out at Walmart with my husband, and we just had a mini dance party in the aisle, which was great. Oh, got the lamb. It's ours now. She's never going to be happy. She's going to be, like, all up in this video. We're going to keep this. Um, keep that up here. You can have it back at the end of the video, honey. Okay? Go play with something that makes less noise. A lamb is her favorite thing ever. So you can see I was planning out my blog post for a while, which was great. I need to get back into that because I had everything planned through this December. Um, and now it's January 1st today. And I don't have anything planned out for the next two months, so I need to I need to sit down and, and strategize. I'm still putting blog stats in for a while. I loved this with the little things people I needed to call. Go on, bit. 
I'm filming a video, honey. We're not playing lamb time. Go on. She's really confused, y'all. She doesn't know I took it away from her. You're okay. You're a good girl. Stay over there. This week, I was sick. Sick, sick as a dog. Like, went into work and got sent home because I was so sick, which is interesting because I'm the manager, and one of my employees was like, nope. But I was the only manager there that week. Luckily, I had... Um, an employee there at this time that really could have been a manager, but she just didn't want the responsibility. She'd been there for several years. And basically I went in and opened and closed and she did everything all day long. <laughs> and I just remember sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. And Trevor was not here this week. And so I was all by myself and it was horrible, horrible, horrible. Oh, but that's the first time I ever used a Grumpy Bear sticker. So that's kind of exciting. So I decided I kind of liked that washi, and so I pulled some more in this week with those colors, which was kind of fun. But definitely a lot more white space here than I'm used to nowadays. And I definitely wasn't using my sidebars very much yet. There's some more of that washi, because I wanted another double box, I think, and I only had one. I don't know, this is interesting to go back and look through. My planning style has definitely changed. If you guys watch any of my videos, you guys are like, um, this is not like normal how you plan. And it kind of makes me sad sometimes because I really do like doing all these. Like, this is so cute. We went to Pokemon City, or Pokemon City, Panama City, which is basically Pokemon City for us. We go down there to Pokemon. And then unfortunately, this was the day, the 5th, that we were going to go on vacation. Vacation. All the stuff says vacation. And then we were headed out of town. And we got a call that my grandfather had a heart attack. And instead of going on vacation, he passed away in the middle of the day that day. It was, it was horrible. Um, and so that's what this clip is for. And so instead of going to Hilton Head, we, uh... We spent the week planning his funeral. His funeral was this Thursday. So that was not such a good week, but I tried to still write everything down. But really, I mean, as a grandchild, my mom has five brothers and sisters, so there's six of them. My grandma really just wanted all her kids around her. Well, that meant six kids, and of course, almost four or five spouses. That's a lot of people to take everywhere with you when you're doing funeral arrangements. Unfortunately, I know that now. And so as grandkids, you know, we were the gophers. We were sent, oh, go get the flowers. Oh, go get this. Oh, go get that. Oh, grandma wants uh, dinner at mom's house. Go clean the house. Go make the dinner. So we spent a lot of this week sitting on our butts waiting to be called somewhere to do something. But that's okay but we needed to be done. This week I went back to work and it was just too much. I think I spent most of the week going to work and then going to bed because I was just so upset. And then we got back into it and um, I had these ombre heart checklists from a kit earlier that I mixed in this week. That was kind of fun. And this is from the kit, and these are from the kit, and these are from the kit. Actually, I think this is the week I tried to use the kit, but it was a very small kit, and so I must have had to add in a couple extra things that I didn't have in the kit. That's okay. I wish I'd written down what movie that was, but oh well. Ooh, purple this week. You can hear my phone ringing. Just a second, y'all. Let me find it. I like this. Why don't I do this anymore? Okay. It was my brother calling from the back room. Unfortunately, he's sick right now. But Betty took that call as an opportunity to grab her lamb. So I've had to move it to a higher shelf. Oh, so I don't remember what we were talking about here. Let's move on. I love this. I think I should use this for something. 
I don't know what you guys do with your old planners. I think I'm going to keep mine as kind of a memory um, look back kind of thing this was a blue week I don't do a lot of not pink weeks if you guys have noticed I like pink I like rose cold and I don't see any reason to not use those colors every single week this is cute though I think I wanted to use some of these blue stickers and that's probably why I used them but you can tell I was definitely still doing more white space which is fine And this week, I remember, um, I did not do a lot on the actual week. Like, if something came up, I didn't do a lot. And so I went back and filled this all in. Just a second, y'all. So, I haven't had too many weeks where I just didn't feel like planning, but there were a couple in here. Um, I do remember doing this week, but again... I didn't fill out a lot of my things that I put in here other than things that I was buying. <laughs> uh, okay, so this week I definitely got back into it. You could tell because there's just so much more filled out. And I used my do more with less. When I really want to get like, back into planning when I haven't felt like it for a week or two, I use some of my supplies that I really like because then I want to go look at it. Wedding anniversary coming up, y'all. I can't believe we're already in May. All right, so we're still using the Mambi books at this point. Very similar to what we've been seeing. And did cover a couple things up here that I just didn't really want to share. And then there's our wedding anniversary. I don't think we did anything on the day. I think we did something later that week. Yeah, here we go. We went down to Destin, which was his favorite place. Um, it's about an hour from our house, hour and a half maybe down to the beach. We go down there to kind of the pier and we'd see dinner, dinner at usually at Applebee's or Red Lobster. This one was probably Red Lobster because for big occasions we go to the fancy places. It's fancy for us. And then we saw a movie. But again, at this point in the, my planning, I wasn't really writing down which movies we were going to, which is a pain in the rear. But I do keep all my movie stubs, so I could probably find out if I looked in my smash book of movie stubs. I wish I had more vacation days. Yep. We had a pictures with Trevor and then I think he was supposed to go to his dad's house if that was the right time we had it cancelled like once or twice just a second y'all I think my mom's going in the store oh, camera got turned a little that time so looks like this was the week in June that we went to Disney. Bum, bum, bum. So this is my first kind of like memory spread. I wish I had pictures to put in here. I still really want a sprocket, but I haven't bought one yet. Um, so one time, one day, but I definitely tried to kind of journal as much as possible on the pages since I wasn't going to actually plan out like every single day, which is kind of funny. And then this was the first time I really wrote down, like, movies that we were watching. And so uh, I think I was better about that going forward. But that was a fun week. And then another little week. I got these little product design stickers that I love. And I think I've used them, like, once. <laughs> I need to use more of them. And then apparently my paper clip, like, made quite the impression this week. But if you guys haven't noticed, this is like my favorite sticker of all time. And I have like five of these books. So, you know, they show up randomly. Randomly. But I love all the rose gold in this week. Like all my little stickers. That makes me happy. And then I loved this washi. And so I wanted to use that. 
some of these weeks just really aren't anything to write home about. But I wanted to go through the whole year. See, like this week, I'm pretty sure this was a week I just didn't plan much. I just went back in and wrote it out. This week was one of my favorites. I loved these llamas. These llamas are so cute. And you will see I used these llamas three or four times because they are so cute. I think I used them and yep, the next week because they're so cute. So this was Haven. And if you're a blogger and you're a home decor blogger, you probably know what Haven is. But it's a home decor craft DIY blog conference. It's been in Atlanta the last couple years. I've gone twice. And um, <coughs> next year it's going to be... Oh, I can't remember the word right now. It's going to be in North Carolina, I want to say. Charlotte, maybe? Charleston? It's going to be somewhere with a C, and I can't remember where, but it's going to be awesome. But I loved, loved, loved how this showed up. And since it was Haven, like, I worked seven to 8 to 8, 7 to 7, 7 to 7 these days to be able to go to Haven and not use, like, a million vacation days. Um, so I got my hours in and then I went to Haven and had four days off. And so, like, there wasn't much I could really plan here because I, I didn't have time to do anything but work. And then Haven took up all my time here, you know, driving, driving, Haven, Haven. And so I definitely was able to put some more, like, scrapbooky elements in this week, which was fun. And then this week I wanted to use more rose gold. And of course, whenever you come back from a blog conference, I don't know about y'all, but you're always more motivated. Like you just want to like get all the stuff done. And so this was a very interesting week. We got our new car this week. Um, my namesake, little Lizzie, was born. Our cat ran away at our photo shoot. I thought the other one was, was canceled. So we actually did our, yeah, really this time. We really did our pictures this time. And stupid Jasper ran away. And we did find him. But, oh, that was crazy that he ran away. So here you go. Here's where Trevor found Jazzy out at Fort Rucker, which was great. And then this, I never thought I'd have a reason to use this poop emoji. Our stupid toilet overflowed. It was horrible. And our landlord had to come out with a shop vac and the carpet really needs to be replaced. But that's a problem for another day. Oh, this is one of my favorite weeks because I really used like the purples, the blues, and the rose golds. I really liked that. But I think we're almost getting to my first kits. Almost. So here's llamas. I went and bought a second llama book. And by me, I mean Trevor went and bought me a second llama book because I really wanted to use some more llamas. And then this one was interesting. I had the new memory book that has these gorgeous rose gold flowers, which I love. And then I also got this Target uh, dollar sticker book, which has all these rose gold stickers. And so I really liked how this week came out. Alright, so you can see I'm getting a couple more Etsy stickers at this point. Like, this is an Etsy sticker from Lamb and Forest, and these are Etsy stickers. This is an Etsy sticker. Pumpkin Paper Crafts. Pumpkin Paper Co. Of course, that is an Etsy sticker. Um, and then down the rabbit hole we go with my first kit and I don't know all the names of the kits this is the fox kit obviously that's not the real name um, I will try to look them all up and put them in the link below but hi Betty Betty wants to come sit with us come on come on there we go all right yeah Lammy's not up here just mama so I really liked using this kit. It was my first kit ever, 
and I just loved all the little foxes and I thought about saving some of the foxes and trying to spread this over like two weeks. I probably had enough, but it was my first week using a kit like this and I just went sticker crazy. Leave the lamp. And then my husband wanted me to use some of my new little planner girls and so I put those kind of everywhere as well. But it turned out super cute. And I think if you look back at the video, I actually did this video at mom's house too. And I loved using these for work stickers. I should start doing that again because I have a lot of these. See? And, uh, and I was actually filling in movie stuff instead of just writing movie. This week is my favorite. This is my... Sorry, y'all. I'm going to get a little emotional throughout this video, I think. This was my husband's plan with me, and... It was so much fun to film with him. I really enjoyed it. He wanted to do a Marvel plan with me next year, so I'll have to I'll have to do one for him. You can find this on my channel too. We did upload it. It's kind of hilarious. I thought it was hilarious. Oh, this is one of my favorite weeks. It was my friend Ashley's wedding, and so we used a wedding kit, of course, and I put all her wedding stuff in here. And it's just so pretty. I believe this is a Scribble Prince Co. Um, kit, and I love these work stickers here, the rose gold script. I need more of those because I've used them all. I think I ordered some. I'll have to look. I might have tried to order some and didn't have any. That was this was one of my favorite weeks. And then I followed it up with Dun dun dun. Ah, I love this artwork. I have like three of these kits. <laughs> I, they're from Brandy's shop and she does such great deals that this kit is like I don't know, I paid like three bucks for it or something. So I bought like three of them. And I'll use some more next year in different ways. See, I use more of this rose gold worky script. I think I would use those every day if I had enough of them. But since this week was, um, I'd gone out to Kansas for Ashley's wedding. And then my other friend Ashley, I have two friends named Ashley, had just had her little baby, Elizabeth, who I showed you guys earlier. Um, and I also got to meet Lizzie for the first time. So this spread is for Lizzie. See, this is when I kind of stopped filling out my my monthlies. All oh, these kitties. I loved these. I have enough of these to do another week. And I'm going to have to do one because they're so cute. So you could tell, like, I was using my sidebar at this point to start tracking Christmas gifts that I needed to get for people for my gift guide. So this is October, y'all, and I'm already working on that. Gift guide stuff is awesome. I love doing them, but you have to start so early. I probably started even earlier than that, but that's the first week I see it in my planner. I love these unicorns. Oh, see, I can never pick a favorite kit because they're all my favorite. Like, do you guys feel like that? Like, I just love every single week. Like, how do you even pick? I don't even know. I'm going to have to try to decide, okay? I will try to pick, like, top three when we're done. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to. This one may be a top three. It may not. I don't know. I really like all of them. I mean, Harry Potter's, like, top right now just because of sentimental value. But as far as, like, aesthetics... I really love these cats. I really love that wedding week. I don't know. I love the foxes. I love the unicorns. And I have more weeks back here that are even cuter. This one was kind of a funny week because I got this kit because it was buy three, get one free. And so I had to pick a fourth kit. Um, and I had three I really wanted, but not a fourth one, so I just picked one. And I picked this one because I really liked the colors in it, and I liked these dogs. These dogs are adorable. But, like, I don't drink coffee, 
random pretzel, random umbrella, random shopping bags. Like, I prefer to pick things that I really love or have meaning for me, but it turned out so pretty. Like, I love the soft colors. So, but you could see I must have got distracted at the end of the week there because I didn't put a lot of stuff on there. I don't know. I don't know. This week was a little bit disappointing. It was the first week I ever did bottom to top all the way with the date covers like this. Um, I, I'd done date covers at the top once before here, and I really liked it. This week I did not like so much. I'm not sure what it is about it, but it just seems too busy. And I think that's really disappointing because this is one of those foiled rose gold kits that I really love. I have two more of them that I'm going to have to use at some point, but I'm a little hesitant now because I love this kit so much and I just did not love how it ended up looking in my planner. So, I don't know. I'm not sure what I don't love about it. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. such a pretty kit. I just don't love how it looks all laid out. It doesn't make any sense. This one was another one that I really wanted for Halloween. And uh, I like how it looks. The orange really isn't my thing. But, I mean, it's Halloween so we made it work. This is one of my favorite kits, which is hilarious because it's all, like, Native American-y, which, again, like, cats are my thing, horses are my thing, foxes are my thing, but I love these colors. Oh, my God. Do you even see? And this was my first big order, and my shop's money ordered $61.91 worth of planners from me. Printable planners. I sell printable planners. FYI, if you guys didn't know. And they're, I mean, they coordinate with Happy Planner. You can punch them to go in your Happy Planner if you want. And I do have one that is just, you know, like the days of the week like this. If that's what you're looking for, I, I made one to coordinate. But for the most part, they're specialized planners like wedding planner, cleaning planner, home decor planner, garden planner, yard sale planner. And I am working on a big launch to have like I'm going to have bundles. I think I've announced it before, but if not, you guys have the inside scoop. Um, and that should be coming up January 27th if I can stay on track. And I'm trying really hard to stay on track. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have, like, a home decor bundle with, like, four or five planners and um, a newlywed planner bundle with four or five planners. And it should be good. I'm really excited about it. Oh, this one was cute. This was my cousin's wedding. And, uh... We had a really good time. We went to the wedding, and we got pedicures that day. Uh, Trevor really needed one, because the poor boy had a ingrown toenail that was making him crazy. So I finally convinced him to go get a pedicure, even though he really didn't want to. They're not manly enough. And um, he was so sweet at the wedding. He tried so hard. As he said in his own words, I wasn't on my cell phone all night. I paid attention. I talked. He even was going around getting my aunts and uncles, like, um, drinks from the bar, like a waiter, so that they didn't have to get things. And then he danced with me all night, which is not really his M.O. And so I was so, I was so happy with him that night. He did so good and I didn't have to ask him to like he just decided to do all this and so afterwards it was like hella late at night but he really wanted to see Justice League so we went and saw Justice League that night that was a lot of fun this week is kind of the best week ever because it was Thanksgiving and this was my first two little bees kit and two little bees is my favorite shop of all time if you guys didn't know she's amazing and I just I love her kits because they coordinate like every single little thing in them coordinates and I love them 
And so even though, like, this plum is not one of my normal colors, and it has orange, just the way she does it, it's so pretty. And it was perfect for Thanksgiving. So, love it. And this was the first week that I tried filling in my hearts with a marker instead of checking them off. And I really liked that. All right, we're going into December, y'all, which is both good and bad. So I don't have all of these clipped in here because a lot of them, I still have information on them that I need for my planner reveal. And so I've got them all together. But I started using these um, to lay out exactly my big focus for the day whatever that was like so for Monday writing in my big happy planner which is basically my diary um I have an actual diary but that that's irrelevant writing in my big happy planner was my main focus then I needed to get my planner landing page done I needed to work on my meal planner I needed to apply for sponsored posts work on my individual planner pages announce the planner bundles so these two didn't get done and then the Christmas tree and so that's probably why this is still in here is because I didn't do it all. But I'm working on using this system. And when I use it, it works really well. The problem is just at work, I've been working 50, 60 hours a week. And so I kind of get distracted from the blog. But that won't be a problem anymore. So I'm not going to be working for quite some time. But anyways, to this week, this is a Christmas kit, which I loved and I used because we were putting up our Christmas tree this week. And I thought that was so perfect. And I used the gorgeous unicorn um, headers. I've been hoarding those because I love them. I wanted to use Christmas kits every week of December, um, at least wooden tree kits. And I almost succeeded. So this one is the big pig one. Big Penguin Week. I love that big penguin. I don't even remember who I got this kit from, but it is gorgeous. And I use the glitter headers, which I don't usually do, and they are so pretty. And we went and saw Jumanji. So this was our last date night, which was a lot of fun. We had the best time this week. This day we sat by our Christmas tree and just watched um, stupid Hallmark movies <laughs> which I really enjoyed and then the next day we went out for Trevor so I always like date night in he liked date night out and so we went out and we went to Target and we went to Michael's and then we saw Jumanji so this was one of my absolute favorite kits um it's from Two Little Bees as well, of course. And it's not really wintry, but I'm in Alabama, y'all. Like, it, it's fine. We don't have actual winter here. It did snow this week, which is hilarious. But you can see I put stick to the plan because I was trying really hard to use that seven-day um, focus thing. And so we did pretty good. We were sticking to the plan all week until Sunday, and then the entire plan went to hell in a hand basket. And I've mentioned it a couple times, but it still is very, very difficult. It's, I mean, today's January 1st. It's not even, it's not even that far. It's been two weeks, but this day, Sunday, the 17th, 5.40 in the morning, my husband was in a car accident. Completely not his fault. A drunk driver, twice the legal limit, coming down the wrong side of a four-lane highway with a median in the middle. The wrong side of a highway with a median. He hit my Trevor and killed him. And so this week I haven't shared before. I'm not going to do a video on it, but I will show you guys. Um, this is his obituary and his prayer cards from church. And we had his, his funeral that Friday the 22nd so I went back and planned all of this after the fact it was definitely too hard to do the actual week of the actual week of was mainly just 
crying and letting everyone else handle things until I had to make a decision. Um, and I don't know if it's wonderful or horrible, but you know, that, that Sunday that it happened, I called my mom, I called my dad, she called his parents, I called my best friend, and within an hour of calling, everyone was on their way, everyone came. Um, they were just upset they couldn't be here sooner. And so I had all my friends and family around me to help with things, but it was still a very, very hard week. Um, but I went back and planned it because I didn't want to have it written out what we did and and how everything went. So that was a hard week. Oh, I forgot to put this back. This was our Christmas card at work that I designed. And yeah, it turned out okay, but um, this is like super blown out, which it wasn't supposed to be. So it kind of annoys me. And those are ornaments that I made for my Christmas tree at work with my Cricut. So, this was last week, and it's my um, Christmas kit. I mean, Christmas Eve, I think is what it was called. And uh, it's very pretty. It's kind of ironic because it really just didn't feel like Christmas at all, you know, since we had just had the funeral like two days before Christmas. Um, like we had to pick up my cat from the vet and they kept saying, oh, well, I'll pick her up on Monday. And they kept saying, oh, no, you won't. It's Christmas. And everyone in my family was like, oh, yeah, it's Christmas. Like we just we didn't even remember. So I'm still doing all the funeral stuff like the funeral is over, but there's still so many things like insurance, car insurance, none of that could even be handled until we get the death certificate and accident reports and um, handling the headstone. There's so much to do that you just never even know until something like this happens. So that is the end of the planner. I'm going to move my sticky notes. I've got some already in my other planner because I've gone sticky note crazy. But that is my entire planner for 2016-2017, which apparently had the worst day of my entire life in it, which he would have known when I picked out this beautiful planner that that's what would happen this year. But I love having it all recorded. I need to get another clip like this for for my Trevor so that I have it marked. And uh and let's just hope that 2018 is a much better year. Um I did write everyone kept asking and I did write our love story. Oh, you can see me in the reflection. That's creepy. Hi. Um I did write our love story by Trevor's and mine on the blog. So if you'd like to read that, I'll link that below, and that it shares all the details, everything from when we met to to the accident and uh, and beyond. How he named my blog, how he was supportive, everything. Um, and there is probably I keep thinking of more and more things to add to it, but it's pretty long already. So I will link that below. Um, and. And then it is time to switch out my planner for my one for next year. So I will show that to you guys real quick and then you will see it in just a minute because I am going to do the first plan with me in it. So this is the planner. Oh, sorry y'all. I picked for next year. It's very similar with the rose gold. I have different planner clips on it. And then um, it has the rose gold metal rings as opposed to the plastic rings. So you can see the difference there. They feel so much better. And they're just, um, they seem to turn a lot smoother. Sorry, all my camera cut out. So hopefully that will be a big difference. Um, it's going to be a long year full of firsts and figuring things out on my own. I'm trying to have to figure all this out on my own, which will be 
interesting, but uh, we'll figure it out. Figure it out as we go. Um, my dad sent me a text this morning, actually. It just said, let me pull it up. Betsy, I know that nothing can make up for the terrible tragedy that happened to Trevor ever or ever completely eliminate your pain, but I was thinking, since Trevor named your blog, why don't you dedicate it to him for 2018 and concentrate on making 2018 your best year ever in his memory, Dad. So, I think that is very fitting. That's what Trevor would want me to do. And that's what we're going to do this year. And yes, in case you are wondering, this is a Franken planner. I really wanted this cover with the rose gold rings. Um, they come with green rings, which I actually have over there. But I bought uh, the other Daydreamer planner to get these pink rose gold rings. And then I really wanted... I was looking for these. Anyways. Um, I really wanted vertical pages because this is a horizontal planner. And so I have a third planner that I bought just for the ver vertical pages. So, yeah. Um, and I do use horizontal for my work planner, so it's not a total loss. And then I gave the third set of, of pages to my best friend. So, they'll all be used, they'll all be loved. But this video is very long, and now I'm just rambling. So, thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.